good evening friends this is my uncle shrest and in continuation with uh, on my series on diameter based protocol this is the second lecture and uh, in the previous lecture i stopped on the place where we were comparing the diameter based protocol with the osi reference model so starting from that point of time so uh, i already uh, explained you like the physical layer which you can see here it is actually uh, the same physical layer of the diameter protocol stack okay and uh, similarly the data link network these two la layers we have to merge and we have make it as a data link layer single one okay then comes the transport layer so transport layer is the same one is uh, uh, sorry uh, my my bad uh, so basically physical layer same one and uh, data link layer then the network layer which is uh, ipsec ip okay and then the transport layer which is tcp scp and the session presentation and application layer we have merged it into a single layer which is diameter based protocol uh, where the diameter based protocol sits actually so we can merge it as a single layer which is application layer and diameter based based protocol is the one which is sitting on the application layer okay so uh, let's not talk much about uh, uh, how how we see um, means, means what is the because i i i i can sense that uh, you might be interested in knowing how it it sees if i am showing you these images let's see actually how it looks like i'm not going into that part in deeper but just to make you uh, feel good i have uh, open i have taken one tcp dump means on my machine i have taken a uh, on my machine which is having a diameter uh, stack installed and uh, already it is working on diameter so i have taken one tcp dump to show you how it looks like so i have opened this this message which is a pcap trace we call it as a tcp dump so if i put i put it here in, in this is a wireshark tool and if i put diameter in the filter i will get only diameter message so let's see one diameter message which is this one so see the layers this is the physical layer the first one is the physical layer then this is the uh, data link layer this is the uh, this is the transport layer and this is the uh, network layer okay so and this this one is the application layer so we can uh, uh, compare it with the same structure which i showed you in this right side diagram okay so actually we don't see these layers because in message because this is uh, means this is our of our not more, uh, much use so uh, let better we should focus on the dam diameter one so in the later lectures i will show you how diameter protocol uh, tcp dump looks like and what are the message which are getting exchanged but as of now you can see that inside this diameter protocol uh, uh, layer you can see all the messages the headers the avps and their avp names every mess information is there okay so let's close this and come back to our uh, slide so the last we were on here and uh, let's see now see the diameter pa packet structure so it will be easy for you to understand that how diameter packet structure looks like okay so if you can see in the right side there is a diameter packet structure so and here in this figure uh, i have shown you uh, the tcp dump so just compare it with like we have uh, see uh, before moving to this part uh, better i should show you something else okay so okay so let's say uh, we have a uh, you all every one of you must be knowing about uh, um, this like uh, a letter okay the traditional letter so we used to post this letter with a envelope okay and is envelope the header of the envelope is having the name from to okay and some ticket which shows that from which country origin it is actually it's a government formalities like we have to pay the tickets to pay the fees of the government okay so two three things are there on the envelope itself through which if we if we without opening the letter we could know that okay this is something related to personal this is something related to bank statement court notice or any other thing so similar to this i have shown you one one a letter here this is the envelope okay and it is having the name from and the to which is addressed to and if you open this one you will find this one uh, this letter inside it and it is having you the actual information means the actual mes message which the user is concerned to but do you think guys like this header is not important at all 
yes it is important because before opening the letter we should know that is it is actually addressing to us or not because if it is not addressing to us maybe postman has delivered it wrongly or it is in some other condition so we sh we, we should not open it okay because this is something personal okay so this then the same way this diameter protocol is also like a like a an letter inside an envelope so if uh, if you open uh, the diameter packet structure you will see that there is some headers just like that like the headers are version message length command code com uh, com command flags okay application id hop by hop identifier and end to end identifier all these are the um, uh, your uh, headers but the actual information on which the the the, the text bix information is there okay the all the details are there which is, that is the avp avp stands for attribute valued pairs okay so avp is a block in the packet structure where the actual content is there but before reaching to the avp we should know that whether these headers are present or not what is the information inside this header okay then only it is easy for uh, any application to interpret read the messages okay so if we compare with the tcp dump see this is the version and in my figure this is the version version field okay this is a 8 bit long field Similar, similarly command flag is a 8 bit long field then we this is a bigger field message length command code application id so all you will see see length flags command code okay application id hop by hop identifier end to end identifier and then comes the avp so every message block of avp is separated okay so basically it is all same only it, these all are avps only but this is the avp of different kind of message this is the avp of different message so all these in combined make make the complete diameter message okay so we will study this in later slide but uh, as of now you can understand that uh, basically a, a sender is sending a message i'll explain you here okay like this is a sender okay this is a receiver okay and this is our diameter packet okay similarly this is also our diameter packet okay so sender is sending the diameter packet here and this diameter packet is traveling to the receiver's place as the same diameter packet and then receiver is receiving it so basically why we are sending diameter packet because the two machines the sender and the receiver are on the same path means both of them understand the diameter language so diameter is nothing is just a text based messaging protocol okay through which two machines communicate to each other okay and there always a um, a sender who who basically carries these this diameter messages on the transport layer so th those messages those protocols are sctv or tcp okay either of the one okay which is carrying this message okay so you will see always like it's sctp is like a person who is carrying this message and it delivering it to the other end okay so you will either either see the tcp which generally uses tcp okay and uh, sctp is is a hybrid is has a hybrid version of tcp okay and it's more secure i will explain you this later but as of now you can understand like this is a messenger who take this message and give it to the receiver okay so i can even show you here in this if you if i open the transport layer row so tcp the here you can see that already it is written transmission control protocol means tcp so here we are using the messenger as tcp but somewhere i can also show you that instead of tcp there is tcp sctp like see here in this message in this diameter message the sender is sctp stream control transmission protocol okay this is here it, we are not using tcp okay so 
that's the reason and basically in the diameter uh, it is designed like that that uh, only SCTP and TCP are allowed to carry the message uh, we don't use UDP because I have all of you aware that uh, uh, UDP is, uh, is is less reliable less secure okay there is no acknowledgement so but diameter protocols are for the nodes which are typical nodes they are very crucial critical nodes in terms of information security and the reliability so we always use the reliable trans transmission layer protocols so which are either tcp or sctp so uh, let's move on to my slide uh, now okay uh, so uh, let's come to this part wherein i have explained like how the basic messages of diameter flows so guys before uh, two two nodes uh, communicates with each other they at least should know whether they are on the same path or not means all the languages which they are using all the text they are using is correct or not it's similar to like two humans communicating to each other although they are on the same language they know both know english but they should know know the all the uh, means how many english words you, uh, you know maybe uh, i'm talking to someone uh, i know 23 uh, words and their meanings which i can use in my conversation but the other person is only aware about about 10 so there will always be a mismatch similarly this uh, in machines also this thing is there so before exchanging the actual messages means before coming into the right picture of uh, of any application or using any anything uh, both two nodes generally exchange the cer cea message on diameter okay so CER is a capability exchange request and the name itself saying that capability means it's my capability maybe your capability so we should be on the same path so one machine this the client is sending the receiver the CER message means capability exchange request in which it is putting all the capabilities which it is having and in turn when the server is responding to the client saying that uh, the answer is successful means he is indicating that whatever is the capability of client server is supporting it that's the only reason our next sort of communications will start okay so this is the first message so 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 whenever there is a exchange of message cer cea has to be there and this is once in a, in a while when two nodes communicate to each other after that there is no exchanges message in this message because we already know that we are on the same path okay so now after this there is a um, uh, device watchdog request so device watchdog request is nothing is just a heartbeat so basically i am checking the as a client i am checking my server at each and every nanosecond of interval or maybe some other interval that whether it is alive or not because if it is not alive the connection is broken then i can easily terminate the session i should not uh, trust that uh, uh, the send receiver is there okay uh, so this is a device watchdog request and device watchdog answer so if i am getting a reply device watchdog answer means the other node is live similarly we have dpr and dpa uh, disconnect peer request so in case the heartbeat is failed or the connection has been lost then we have to means the the source node means the client node has to determinate this connection so it's a disconnect peer request so disconnect peer answer will be there and the two nodes will be disconnected okay so this is the basic flow which has been explained in the slide and i think guys uh, we should stop this session right now otherwise it will be would be a big one so overall uh, what we covered today uh, in the last session and today uh, let me brief about it so we okay so we understood what is diameter okay we understood um, um, which layer protocol diameter comes in okay structure of diameter packet okay we understood like a comparison of diameter stack with OSI reference model stack okay then we saw the basic messages exchanged on diameter okay so this is i think uh, what i think uh, this is the one which i explained 
and now moving into the next level